ladies and gentlemen old guy back again here at Triumph and Waukesha I'm gonna take out today the Triumph Scrambler 900 I'm actually very excited to ride this bike I mean you get the 900 cc parallel twin producing 64 brake horsepower claiming 59 foot-pounds of torque so I'm kind of right there in that little sweet spot for a scrambler motorcycle. Seat looks incredibly comfortable. Incredibly comfortable. I mean, with a weight of 492 pounds claimed. And an MSRP of $11,495. You know, yeah, you're really chasing that Ducati. <laughs> You're chasing the Ducati Scrambler. I have ridden the 1200 Scrambler. It was a little big. I think it was a little bit much for the street. And a little bit much for a Scrambler style off-road bike. So I'm very excited to try the 900. Now first off. Yeah. See it is really really comfortable. And foot position. 5 foot 9. I'm on the balls of my feet. Which... Got to be honest with you, this isn't bad. And <laughs> a nice little sound. They didn't change much from the 2023. This bike has five miles, so let's go put some more miles on it. Oh yeah, riding position, very good. This does not have an adjustable front suspension. This is preload and rear. All right. Like I said it's a little bit windy today. I apologize if the audio is not the greatest. Not much I can do about the weather. <laughs> Turn signals right right above the horn. I end up clicking it. This does not have a quick shifter. Wasn't expecting it to. However, I'm not gonna lie. Eleven grand should have one. Should have one in my opinion. Mm, get the right mirror angle. Mirrors are pretty good once you get them in the right spot. To be honest, I actually really do like this speedometer, tachometer. Obviously, it's ripped off from the Bonnie. Why? Because it says Bonneville on it. <laughs> but I'm not going to fault them for that. I'm not going to fault them for that. Yeah, these mirrors are really good. Very wide handlebar. Very wide. I mean, you are in solid command. I like the fact it comes with adjustable brake and clutch levers. Mm, mm, mm. Any bike that gives me that from the factory, I'm very happy. I see too many bikes now that do not have that. And that's something that, in my opinion, should come on every single bike, you know. This has rider modes, I believe it's probably just two, road, off-road, rain. So you got road, off-road, and rain. So there's an off-road mode. I don't know what that does as far as neutering power delivery, but yeah, it's there. That's nice. Nice thing. This has no wind protection whatsoever, so the interstate is probably going to suck. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. That's some decent power delivery, though. There's too many cars, I can't get into it. You know, surprisingly enough, I've ridden worse 
naked bikes on the interstate. I mean, I'm only doing 65 right now. But, like I said, I have ridden a lot worse. The way the wind is hitting me right now, obviously it's hitting me all in the chest. But, man, a little bit of my head there. But, it's not bad. Like I said, I've ridden worse. I just realized that I went for a sixth gear and there isn't one. So, there you go. But you can commute on this. Pretty comfortable. And still have the scramble nature to be able to do a little bit off road. Yeah. It's a good bike. It's a good bike. delivery is not bad I mean for a smaller bike for you know like like you said small 900 cc but for a bike in this category it's not bad I mean like I said I am I'm five foot nine I am on the balls of my feet the way the foot pegs are I have to kind of come behind the pegs when I go down you know to put both feet down if I wanted to which I mean once you realize it it's not too bad I'm gonna say this I mean honestly this is one of the easiest bikes I've ever gotten on this is so easy to ride wow I mean it's really good there's something about these, you know, the little bit lower displacements bikes, it's like, man, there's something about it that, it's like, yeah, I like that. I'm going to slow down just because I want to kind of get on it going down this hill. I can't do that with cars in the way. Good little bike. I mean, I can, yeah, again, I keep arguing on that. It's a good bike. <laughs> it's, this is not a little bike. A 400 is a little bike. But the way that this one is tuned, the way it delivers its power, the way everything kind of flows with it, it's a good bike. It really is. It's a good bike. I like it. And let's actually try to get a U-turn in. In here. Yeah. Two spots. It's good. <laughs> I did a couple super sports earlier. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's fucking three spots. What's the problem when you just jump on a bike, you have 15 minutes and you're gonna go try to do a U-turn? Shows how bad of a rider I am. <laughs> There's something about a bike of this size that really does kind of it just sparks that emotional, have fun, you know, the enjoyment of motorcycling versus you know big, huge, super high CC bikes where. You know, they're they're great, but a lot of it is unusable. You know, it's like I bought the bike because I wanted to use the bike. You know, 
and when you ride a bike that has so much power that for the street it becomes nearly completely unusable it there's something you lose in that there's fun a fun factor that you lose in that and you know it's not where I want to be it really isn't This is more than enough power for the street. It really is. This is more than enough power for the street. Let's see if we can get a 060. Good 060. Tape stands is a good spot. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. 2024 Triumph Scrambler 900. You know, still got halogen bulbs, halogen turn signals. So there's a knock for that, but overall though, <laughs> A really good sound. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. As always, stay safe and enjoy the ride.